but it's crazy. Just take a look, then I do this. But how is it possible that the warmth of my hand alone can make the liquid go all the way to the top? And then, what liquid is it? What's going on? How does it work? Guys, this instrument is called a thermoscope, and it can explain how a mocha pot works because, yes, guys, a mocha pot does not work because the water boils and therefore rises. That's got absolutely nothing to do with it. We'll get to all that now. First of all, what's in there is alcohol. Alcohol colored with a blue dye. So there's no strange magical liquid. It's just alcohol. And what makes the liquid rise? Basically, when you touch the bulb with your hand, you transfer heat to the ethanol vapors. What happens to the ethanol vapors? When they heat up, they expand. And as they expand, they push down on the liquid. Where can the liquid go? The only place it can go is up the tube and into the second bulb. So, it's all down to the expanding alcohol vapors that, as they expand, push down on the liquid. The same thing happens with mocha pots. The water in a mocha pot doesn't rise because it boils. When a mocha pot is heated, the air and steam expand and push the water up through the filter. Look, it's exactly what happens here if we hold a lighter below it and heat it up. Watch what happens. All the liquid rises, and it even bubbles just like a mocha pot would. So, thanks to a thermoscope, which I think is a wonderful instrument, we can understand how mocha pots work. But what does that mean? Which one is right? I don't know what to believe anymore. Actually, no, there's clearly an explanation. Let's go to the blackboard. We asked both calculators to perform the following operation, 30 plus 20 divided by two. As we're taught in school, mathematical operations have to be performed in a certain order. Division and multiplication take precedence over addition and subtraction. If we had to solve this without using a calculator, first we'd divide 20 by two, getting 10. Then we'd add that to 30, giving us the correct answer of 40, which is exactly what the phone app came up with. In fact, the phone is intelligent. You might notice that after performing the addition, it waits to see what the next operation is. If it's another addition, it gives the partial result and then performs the final addition. However, if it's a multiplication, it knows that it must do that first before performing the addition. Traditional calculators, on the other hand, are not capable of doing this. They can't remember or take into consideration previous operations. They simply carry out calculations in the same order in which we enter them. So what did the calculator do? 30 plus 20, so that makes 50, divided by 2, which is 25. So the correct answer to 30 plus 20 divided by 2 was given by the phone, while the calculator essentially performed a different operation. That is 30 plus 20 divided by 2, essentially. Look at this. The water is just spurting out of the holes in the bottle, but that's normal because gravity is pushing it down. But what happens if I let the bottle fall? Are you ready? The water stopped coming out of the holes in the bottle. Why did that happen? Let's go to the studio. Let's try to understand why the water stopped spurting out. At first, when I was holding onto the bottle, the bottle itself didn't fall, but the water was affected by gravity, and that's why it flowed out of the holes. But what happens when I let the bottle fall? The bottle, too, starts to fall due to gravity, the same force that causes the water to fall. The two bodies fall at the same speed, so in relation to the bottle, the water is stationary and therefore stops flowing out of the holes, and both bodies fall downward. It seems incredible, but it's also why astronauts float around inside their spacecraft, seemingly unaffected by gravity. If you want to know more, write astronaut in the comments and we'll make a video about it.